Hello, everyone. Uh, another short news update video today. Another somber day. Some more good news or bad news, depending on uh, how you want to look at it. Joe Blackburn, current game director of Destiny 2, has announced on Twitter that he will be leaving Bungie. Bungie is going to be conducting their end-to-end playtest of Final Shape, where Bungie internally plays the game and they give a bunch of feedback as they shift development over more towards like bug fixing and polishing the game and making it sure that it's ready to go in June. I assume Final Shape has been pretty feature complete already, uh, but it seems like this playtest sort of confirms that. Sorry, I was like, I closed the door. How did Brim get in? <sighs> I was in my somber mood and now I got to bring it back down. Okay. Bring it back down. Where was I? Uh, so if, if you've been around the, the bungee world for a long time, you may know Tyson Green's name from somewhere in the timeline. I mean, dude's been there for, for 25 years or something like that. He is going to be taking over as Destiny 2 game director when Joe leaves, which seems like is happening pretty soon. Joe says, quote, I've still got some time before I pass the torch, end quote. But he will not be leading us into the next era of the franchise. I don't know how much of the episode content that we are going to be getting after Final Shape he has directed or influenced in any way, but it seems like after episode one or two, that will mark the end of Joe's influence on new content in Destiny 2. A leadership shakeup like this shouldn't really be the most surprising after such a milestone, you know, as, as this 10 years, uh, Joe's been game director for actually less than 50% of destiny's lifespan. He hasn't been the guy for very long, but he's been the most recent guy, the most talkative guy of recent. Um, I, either way, after hitting such a milestone, it's pretty natural to expect some kind of a shakeup, you know, employees find new places to work or new projects that they want to work on because they've been working on the same thing for forever and they want to try something new. <clears throat> um, had the bungee layoffs not happened and all this news that came out in October, November didn't happen. I think most people would just wish Joe well, Thanks for everything, and we're moving on into the new era. Get some new blood into new positions. But because of what had happened recently, I think a lot of people are going to view this as Joe is bailing. He's getting off the sinking ship. He's getting out of here to save himself, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The, the optics. The optics are bad to people who, who maybe don't know any better. Um, I saw some comments from people thinking that he was actually getting fired or laid off or something. Uh, there's zero information out there that would lead to that conclusion. I don't think there's any reason to believe he's actually uh, secretly getting laid off. It's not unheard of that people get asked to resign. Do I think that's what's happening here? No. No, I don't. Um, this is also something that's probably been in the works for like weeks, months now. Uh, things like this do not happen spontaneously. Uh, they don't just come out of the woodwork. It is very meticulously planned over long periods of time so that transitions can be smooth. Do I think this has pretty much any impact on the final shape? No, I do not. Do I think this has much impact on early episode content? No, I do not. It's still sad, though, because Joe has been very dedicated to the franchise for a long time. I think pe some people don't know that he actually left Bungie for Riot Games for a year and then came back. Probably, uh, maybe he got a really good offer. I don't know why he came back ex exactly, but he came back after leaving already. I know some people 
you may blame him for a lot of the stagnation the game has been in for the past little while now. Um, I, I wouldn't put everything on him, mainly because I don't know where all of that blame should go. Is it all on the game director? Is it only some on this, some on that? I don't know. Um, from what I do know of Joe, I know he's really cared about the game for a very long time. Um, but game director is a pretty stressful position. And when your time is up, it's up, you know, whether it's we're going into a new era, whether you're just tired and burnt out and stressed, whatever it is, when it's your time, it's your time. Um, I'm sure there's also going to be other employees who leave Bungie or Destiny, you know, all together when Final Shape launches. We've definitely had our fair share of, you know, old guard Destiny leadership move over to Marathon, which might as well feel like they've completely left Bungie because we still don't really have any information on Marathon. Um, although with the state of, uh, you know, game dev jobs uh, right now, who knows? You know, people seem fortunate to even have a job given the way things are going right now. Just thousands and thousands of people getting laid off from their jobs in game development. And I think also just like in tech in general. Um, but... It's not the worst thing to have new leadership sprout up during a shift like this. In fact, if there's ever a time to change things up, it's it's probably now. During the big finale, during like a time where you want to make a bunch of changes, you know? You can potentially see new ideas come to the table. You can have some fresh concepts drawn up. Yeah, I, I know Tyson Green isn't exactly new to Destiny or Bungie. He's been there forever. Uh, he was uh, the Halo 3 multiplayer design lead, I think. Yeah, multiplayer design lead. And uh, he worked on the Halos before that. He worked on uh, Myth 2. Like, dude's been there. Um, so, you know, is he going to have some fresh ideas? We don't know. What's going to happen going into the future? You know, things could stay approximately the same as they are now. They could get better. I don't think it'll get that much worse. I've been wrong before, though. I still also get some questions every once in a while about other lead figures at Bungie, like Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, who were piloting the ship before passing things off to Joe and other new people many, many years ago. Um, my answer to that continues to be, I literally have no idea uh, what they're doing. No clue. The last time I spoke to Mark Noseworthy was February 2019. And the last time I said more than, uh, you know, hey, how you doing to Luke Smith is probably about two or three years ago now. Both are still at Bungie. I know that, at least according to their Twitter profiles, they are. But in terms of what they actually do there, no idea. No clue at all. Luke Smith actually just said something on Twitter about uh, the game director shift and also said, quote, back to where I was, see you soon, end quote. Um, otherwise, just, you know, speaking high praise of, of Joe Blackburn and Tyson Green. Um, can't think of even the last time he even said anything on social media as evidenced by all of his deleted tweets and information. Tyson Green, on the other hand, has literally no known social media at all. So I'm kind of wondering, is he going to make an account to to talk to the community? Is he going to handle communication through uh, just like Bungie's website, through the D2 team Twitter, just some sort of anonymous Destiny Twitter account? Because, um, you know, Joe really put himself out there. He put himself out there a lot. I don't really know what happened with these uh, streams that were supposed to happen. I don't, I don't think we got too many of those. Uh, whereas Tyson has very little of himself out there. And I think that's something that people appreciated about Joe is that he was willing to put himself out there. So um, interesting to, to see what happens with communication on that front too. Otherwise, I think that's all I got on this. Uh, I'm sad to see Joe leave as I know he really cared about the franchise. I'm excited to see if bringing in new people into this new era can help juice up Destiny going into whatever we're going into. Um, I don't think this change means much in terms of Destiny's development. I think the game will carry on as it was planning to carry on. Um, it's just going to be some di different people driving the car. I know some people 
uh, are going to be very doom and gloom about this, some for the right reasons, some for the wrong reasons. Um, but as usual, all we can really do is just sit and wait to see what happens. So best of luck to Joe on his future projects and best of luck to Tyson Green on trying to infuse some new life into this franchise. You got your work cut out for you. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.